Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. This is what we're making, and this is what it looks like in person. So it, it's a shaker and a slider for the five. So definitely have some tips for you. I'm gonna show you how to do this whole thing, um, but it's super cute. It was super challenging because I normally don't do boy stuff. I have a daughter and all the crafting seems to be for girls. So anyway, um, but I love this thing. Look it, and it's super stable. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so let's talk about how to do this. Um, I'm gonna show you a lot of things today. I was debating whether do I just show you bits and pieces or do I actually show you from beginning to end? And I think I get um, a lot of complaints about other people's videos that don't show from beginning to end. So I'm gonna attempt to show you all the different things that I did. So, okay, so let me, um, let's reduce this at, back here. First thing is I wanna show you um, Font Cloud, okay? So it is through Creative Fabrica. So if you went, uh, I don't wanna show you that, hold on. Not my earnings. <laughs> All right, Creative Fabrica. Um, so I'm already logged in. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to Tools and go to Font Cloud. This is how I am from been managing my fonts lately. Um, so you open Font Cloud. It is free. You just create an account. Please use my link to create the account because I get credit for that. Um, but like I said, it's free. Um, it keeps track of all your fonts. You have to dump your fonts in there. But as you're downloading fonts, I just take the extra step and I upload it into my font cloud. Let me show you what it looks like. Um, it's opening. So what I like about it, though, is that you can log in from any computer. And then let's say I'm at my friend's house and I want to work on it. I can log into her laptop pull up font cloud and then decide, oh, I really like this font. You can download from your account to that computer. So you don't even need to keep track of, did I get it from Defont? Where is it? Do I still have it? Where is it? So these are all the fonts that I have right now. Um, so I'm gonna type in Bentley. This is the name that I was doing and I really liked this one, but let's say I was on your computer, like I was saying, you can actually click on it and download the font. So I love this because you know your fonts, when you download fonts, it's specific to your device. And so even within my own household, right, I have my regular computer, my laptop, my phone. Um, so it's a lot to keep track of. And so far, I would say that this is the best way to keep track of my fonts. I used to have a spreadsheet, all this stuff. But anyway, uh, so I wanted to show you that. That's free. Please click on my link to open your account if that's all you do, because this is this is the best way, I think, to keep track of your fonts. Okay, so we like to Stacy. So now I'm gonna use Font Cloud or Font Lab. Sorry. So let's type in Bentley. Um, and the number five. And we ended up going with this Stacy. But you can see you could pick any your recent fonts or any fonts that you have on um, on your laptop. So we went with the Stacy. So this is what it looks like. It was, you know, my compromise of boy, but still scripty. Um, okay, so you, and you see how it connects automatically for you. Um, save as, save it. Then we're gonna go to Inkscape. Okay, so in Inkscape, you have it open. Both, all of this is free. I don't want you to pay anything extra for this stuff. So just download it in Inkscape. Go to File. We're going to import our name and the age. Okay, so here it is. And it's already locked, so I'm going to make it really big so you can see it. So we're going to do the offset, right, so that you can have your different layers. It's so much easier to read. It's prettier. Um, so this is selected right now. So take your cursor, click in the open area, so nothing is selected right now. Go down, click on your paint bucket, pick on any color. It doesn't matter because we'll fix it in design space. And let's grow this by 20. I like growing it by 20, 40, 60. It gives you um, a more noticeable difference, but nothing crazy. But I feel like 10 is too thin. So 20, this is what you see. This is what you get. And let me show you the five, okay? All right. Um, so we clicked on 20. So now we want to click on each one of these items. So here's my five. And you see how my offset, here's my B, and then this I think connects, yeah. 
Then you go back and click your little cursor here. This is selected, right? Because it was the last thing we clicked on. So deselect it by clicking in the open area. Go to your paint bucket, click on another color, and let's grow it by 40 this time. And you're gonna click on the five, and then click on the B and this. Perfect. Click on your arrow, grab everything here, go to path, object to path, and then file, save as. I've already saved this, but you wanna save it because now we're gonna go into design space. You're gonna to go to upload, upload image, browse, and you're gonna find, here's, here it is, Bentley to DC offset. So I've already done it, but I'll do it here. Here it is, save, and then you're gonna click on it and insert your image. So let's just do this one first. So here's our offset for the five and the name. And you can see, I don't know, like I don't see it anywhere here, right? So you can click on it here and the position says it's on negative 26. So it's not even, that's why it's not showing on the screen. It, when you have that issue, just do like five and see, there it is. So it's at five, five, um, ungroup it. So here's our five. Here's this five, and then there's our five. But this Bentley um, section was in pieces, right? So go to your right-hand side panel over here, scroll up to the blue, grab your, um, I don't know why it moves it all the way over, but grab this, click on your shift key, grab the B, and we're gonna weld it. So now here's our back layer. Now, I don't like these little holes right here. So I'm gonna click contour. I don't think anyone's gonna notice it. And it's just gonna rip up my paper. So I'm gonna remove those. These are big enough. It's up to you, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so there is Bentley. Let's do the same thing for the um, pink. So here's our Bentley B weld. And now we have this, look how pretty that is. And then we have this. Now this, let's grab Bentley and weld it. And now we have this. So we have our three layers, right? And we have this as well. Um, let's see, arrange, send to the front, send to the front. That way we can layer it and it looks the way it's supposed to be. So here it is. And I would just grab the three fives, for instance, go to align and do center and I'll center it for you and just group it. This way when we're sizing, this whole thing moves together. And I would do that the same to Bentley. So align, uh, center, and then group it. So as we're still making design decisions, you can just, this will move together. Now, if you wanted to change the color, I would do it here. So the way we did this was the top layer we did was light yellow. And then the, this layer was white. So you can change it now just so that visually it makes more sense to you. Um, I did it in green and then the name. Let's see, Bentley, I did yellow, then white and then this one was dark blue okay so now we have all that let's start building um our cake topper so there's the tree and the john deere this was a google image so just clean it up and upload it um the tree you just go into images and type in tree and let's see if i can find it it's this one. So I'll click on it, insert images. Now I did clean it up. It does look a little bit different than what you see here. And I'll show you the difference. I'll put it side by side. Let's make this a little bit bigger. I didn't have the falling leaves. I knew I wanted the tree on the grass and I'll show you what that looks like again here. So I got rid of some of these things. So let's ungroup it. I got rid of this. I got rid of all these little hanging leaves. So I just went over here and started hit shift and select all these items. 
and delete it. I also notice in the brown, you have the two browns, but you also have a third brown. These extra little things, I just got rid of them. All right, so now you have this, but you have, uh, it's like four different colors of green. So I started changing the colors. So you can easily do that here by clicking color sync and you can move things around here. Like just take this and put it here for instance. So you can change it here or you can manually click on that thing, go over here and click on your colors. So that's how I did the tree. Um, let's insert the grass. And I think it was this one. So insert image. And I didn't need the two, the two layers. So I got rid of one of them, which looks like I got rid of the back one. So ungroup it and delete that. So I left this, but I made the blades longer, right? So you can unlock it and do this. And that way it's like this. Okay, so it's starting to come together, right? My shaker and this, they're all just circles. So let's bring in our shape, bring in a circle. And I know it's getting busy, so let's go down here. Let's make our first circle. Don't worry about how big it is, okay? So this is the back. This is the most blue, okay? So let's change the colors so that visually we can try to figure what we have here. So this is the blue. Then you have another circle. So let's duplicate that. This one is going to be the back of our shaker. So make it a little bit smaller. It's the lighter blue, okay? So let's click on that, click on our lighter blue. That's the back of our shaker. Then you're going to have your foam. So your foam is going to be smaller than this. So, and then you have on top of your foam, you have your acetate and you have your two layers for your slider. Okay. So let's duplicate that and change this to white. This is our slider, our acetate. Our slider is two pieces, the back of the slider and then the top one has to cut out, okay? So that's three of these. So um, this one is a little bit smaller and just, I would eyeball it. This looks good to me, okay? Our foam is actually inside of this. So let's duplicate this one <laughs> and make it smaller. Okay, so that looks good to me. So the foam is actually just a, um, a thin, outline. So if this is our foam, the outside of our foam, we need another layer that's going to be the inside of our foam. So let's make that a little bit smaller. Okay. And I would grab this and this one, center it, and then slice it. And I'm going to change the color because I know this is getting a little confusing. So here's our foam. Okay, so our foam, let's do it, I don't know, purple. So right now you have your back layer and then you have the back of your shaker. This is going to be the acetate and we're gonna have the back of the slider and the top of the slider. All right, this we can throw away. And here's our two foam. And let me move this out of the way. We don't need that in there, but I'll show you the foam is smaller than everything, right? And I don't know if you can see in there. So the foam is inside. Then on the inside, you're also gonna, you're, once you put your foam in, you put your sequins in, then you're gonna put your acetate paper. So acetate paper is going to be this white layer right here. I know it's a lot, but we're almost done, okay? So here's the, this is our slider. And if what happens with the slider is you have a back piece and then you have a top piece that has that little cutout, okay? So the cutout we're gonna use today, you're gonna go to images and you're gonna type in um, M4159B. It's gonna give us, oops, you need the pound, I think. There it is. 
I want that little curve thing. So let's insert this image and we'll delete everything except for that piece. Okay, so let's ungroup it. Don't need your monkey. Let's see, don't need this, don't need this, 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 this. Delete all that, don't need, oh. Now on this one, they're the same color, so they're welded together. Go to contour and let's just deselect the leaf. So now we have our little circle piece. Okay, put it anywhere where you want the cutout, okay? So let's say we like that. Click on that and our one white piece and we're gonna slice it out. Delete that, we don't need that. So now this is the top of our slider, right? So then you're gonna have your little slider movement, which is basically a coin, something to hold it, and then the top piece. And the top piece was this, is this five. And I have a video showing how to put this together. So don't worry about that. We just need to make sure that in design space, you have everything cut out. So this is it. Here's the top. That's the back of our slider, the top of our slider. Now everything else goes on top of this piece. So let's bring down Bentley. Bentley I had here somewhere. And let's send that to the front. Um, probably had it a little bit bigger. Okay. And like I said, don't worry about how big this actually is because we will resize everything afterwards. As long as this right now is proportionate to our circle, we're good. Okay, here's our grass. Um, arrange, move forward. So there's my grass. Oops, there's my name. The tree I have, oh shoot, let me ungroup, undo that. I wanna grab the tree to move all together. So here's our five. We're gonna put our five arranged, sent to the front. Our five is gonna be on this little curve, okay? Um, oh, let me show you the hammers. Um, oops, let me undo that. I need to group this tree so that the tree moves together. So I'm gonna grab it like this, which I didn't think I'm gonna grab a hammer. Okay. Um, all right, so let's grab our tree. Our tree starts here. Hit select and just grab all this. And then I'm gonna group it because we're probably gonna need to resize this. So let's group that so it moves together as one. Okay. Um, and actually, size-wise, it, it's pretty decent. Okay. Um, so if you look at the back of my topper, I have the grass in here and the name and the circle. So basically what I did was, let's, if we like the sizing of all this, let's say we like it, or let's size it a little bit here. Okay, let's say we want it bigger. You resized everything. The grass... Go ahead and duplicate the grass and we'll just move it over here for now. We're gonna grab the back of this circle. We're gonna grab the grass. Is it this one? No. We want this, the grass, and we want the back of Bentley. Shoot, that's not the right Bentley, sorry. We want this, we want this, Is that top? Or is my Bentley? Um, I'm trying to find my blue Bentley. Where is it? Sorry. It needs to be here. Oh, here it is. My blue Bentley and I'm going to weld everything. So that gives me a really solid piece to layer everything on top. Okay, this arranged sense of the back. So then what you have is the yellow and the white is sitting on top, but that blue is all together. And that's gonna give you, it allows you to make a really big, I mean, look how big this is, it's the same size as my face um, on one stick. And it's not flimsy at all. You see it's 
it's stable. All right, so we have all that. We have this. This we will move back a little bit. Let's see, arrange, move backwards, move backwards. And this is really just for us visually. It doesn't matter because when you cut it off the mat, you can you know place everything. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to make our circle. Hold on. Our two whites. Let's move it over because our shaker needs to have a blank, right? So that we can put, okay. We'll bring in one more circle. That's gonna give us this clear thing to put the sequence in. I forgot to do that. So let's grab these two items, arrange, or sorry, align, center, Okay, we're gonna slice and slice this one from this one first. Okay. Oh, you know what? We can leave. Uh, no, let's do that. Put this circle back in. Center that. And slice. There. Okay, that's going to be in the middle. Now, our awesome little guy that this birthday cake, birthday cake is for loves tools. So I went and I got a hammer. So um, I don't even remember. I think it was this one. And what I did was I made it small like that, okay? And you can see, I think I have extra hammers. On the inside, I have some hammers running around. Um, so I just did it in a couple colors. Since we already have these colors, I I think I did like three of each color. So make this our light blue, duplicate it, uh, cut out some in yellow, whatever you wanna do, okay? Um, all right, so that's there. I brought in this. So this is any image that you want to bring in. For him, he wanted this. So arrange, send to the front so you can see what it looks like. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Now, for my printer, when I do this, it prints on regular copy paper. So it's super thin. So what I like to do is I like to cut out the exact same shape, but on cardstock. So just go ahead and bring in a square. Make sure it covers our thing, our truck. Grab, uh, I think I grabbed too many things. Okay, here we go. And slice. So here's the back. And we can get rid of this. So this will sit on top and make it really sturdy. Okay, you just, I used double-sided tape, I think. I can't remember. Um, Group that. And this goes right here. And I'll make this bigger so you can see it again. So you can see all the different layers, okay? So here's our slider. The hole. And I have another video that is uh, releasing tomorrow and it goes over the actual layers. I think it's a good overview for you guys to understand what you need, but we are done. I hope you like it. Um, the other tip I would say is, you know, uh, you see how I go light, dark, you pick a lot of different colors, um, pick a lot of different textures. There's a little bit of glitter, the back of the tree. Let me show you the tree. Uh, the tree trunk is two colors, right? So you have a front and back. So the back one I did in glitter, so it kind of just shines through. I mean, I didn't want it super shimmery, but just a little bit to give it some like extra, extraness. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. So I hope that was helpful and I will see you next time. This was a special request for someone who follows me. So if you have one, please just comment. Let me know how I can help you do your project. Um, I think it's really hard to learn how to um, 
watch someone do it and then apply it to your project. It's a lot easier to learn when it's your project. You want it this size, this color, this name. Um, I think you learn faster that way. But all right. Thanks, guys. Good night.